What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Vegas Golden Knights. The worst championship caliber team ever. <laughs> we're like we're legit listed as champion team. Don't ask me how. Um so before I completely sell all those fucking free agents and just go crazy, I'm not even kidding. I'm about to do that and get a bunch of prospects and picks. One thing left. Anaheim is 23, 30, and 7. They're shit. And they got some weird players. They don't have any prospects. Now Gibson is 29. He's got two years left on that deal. Could I get Gibson? And what would it cost me? Ugh. We'll see. Mrazek. All three of these guys. What do they say to that? Are they going to say multiple players for a roll? No. Oh, they say yes, I did. Multiple players for one roll. Well, I'm all out of ideas. If I can't make this go, they want our picks. They want this pick. It's lost value. But I'm throwing in all those fucking goalies. This is a, this is the last resort right here. This is pretty much the last resort. <sighs> Mrazek, these other tendies, a first for Gibson. Okay. Um, they still saying I haven't really made it worth their while. Okay, uh, alright, so if I can only do one of those freaking tendies, what else do I give up? Maybe a prospect. Alright, let's throw in that one. They wanted our picks, but... Man... I'm actually considering one of those elite tendies, but I don't know if that's the best option yet. Any other skaters match and block? Let's see what they want. Brunette. This is another two-way forward. I would consider giving this guy up. I honestly would. Two-way forward. Sure, he's 66 overall. Thing is, man, we have a two-way forward is going to be elite. Uh, Zadina. Like, he's not doing well, I know, but... I don't know. Nakamura, top six guy. What kind of player is this guy? Playmaker. It looks decent enough. But we also got Malosh, who's going to be a center. Looks even better. Who's this Macaulay guy? Power forward. Glass. Maybe glass here. Can I throw maybe throw glass into this deal? We have to give something up. Or maybe McLeod instead. Yeah, he's got no offensive talent. He's not even that good defensively. Let's chuck as as much as it sucks, let's chuck McLeod into this deal. Oh, they have too many skaters. Son of a bitch. Okay. That's unfortunate. Anyone unsigned that they want? Yes. Okay, a couple of these guys. Are they gonna be like, oh, multiple players for a single roll? Probably. But we're chuck both those guys in there. Let's see what they say to this. Mrazek, a first, Karan, and a couple of these prospects who are unsigned for Gibson. No, McElroy. Okay, yeah, they've too many guys for a single roll. All right, what else? Not much else. If I have to send through a signed guy, I can't do much else. Let's try to chuck that guy in there. How? Really? More than one guy for a, Who else besides McElroy? <laughs> The forward? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Chistov at this point, although I don't think no. Alright, any more picks you guys want? You want a second? I'll happily give up a goddamn second at this point. Let's chuck in that second too. This is a lot to give up, but fucking hell. If we're going to make something go through, we got to give up a lot. Just isn't where it needs to be. Okay. 
get this is like a I'm buying time basically with Gibson for our elite goalies to get good. But I mean, ugh, we we need we need something. So if I can't get it for two firsts and all this stuff, then I the value just isn't where it needs to be. <sighs> what else do I have to do? Uh, it's at this point, man, I'm really considering selling, selling fucking players and starting from scratch, lining them all up with Padawan. And that's what we're about to fucking do. Okay. I don't know. It's I'm, I'm going a little insane right now, but I think I tried to rush this along and I just fucked it up along the way. And I don't know. Weren't these the guys with the really good? I think I'm getting my GMs. No, here he is. Dublowitz. There he is. 88. Holy fuck. You're amazing. You are so good, Dublowitz. Okay. Um, fuck you guys. You guys are a good team now. You guys came out of nowhere and are a good team. We'd be willing to give this guy up for Johnny Hockey. <laughs> it's league approved. I would give this guy straight up. Dublowitz for Johnny Hockey. Straight the fuck up. You guys are a playoff team now. Maybe you guys could use someone like this. I want to restart. I want to get all guys matching up in age. So, let's let's sell. Let's let's go fucking balls to the wall because you know what? What my my whatever I'm doing is not working. There we go. I don't care. I don't care if I could have got more. I'm going straight up for that. Johnny Aki for that guy. Straight up deal for me. Make it's it's fine. Roster moves. What do I gotta do? I just put him in. I'm just putting him in. Inserting him in all lines here. We're going a little fucking crazy right now. I apologize. I don't apologize actually. It needs to be done. Solving all lines. Alright, now we got Jeremy Dublowitz there. I'll probably get Mantha the fuck out of here as well. Um Yossi's on one two years, so I don't have to get rid of him yet. I didn't have to ret ret uh, retain anything, though. So that's actually nice. Hold on. What's going on here? Put Dublowitz in here. Going fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we just made a massive trade right now. Zadina may be also a guy to go. But I'm going to hold on to him for now since he is still young. Okay. Uh, Venberg. Is there a center out there I could get? Or should I just bring someone up who's weird like Jacobson I'm actually considering just throwing this guy into the first line just because of his shot <laughs> just because of his shot I'm considering putting him up on the first line just because of his slap shot it's insane like just go weird like I'm thinking about just going weird with this team like getting Mantha out of here although the thing about Mantha is like if we he's scoring a lot and I almost don't want to give him up because he's scoring a lot but, uh, I, I mean, if we need a matchup age, is, this is crazy stuff has got to be done. So we got Dublowitz at least. What about, wasn't there one other sniper? I think there's one other sniper here. And I would, I think I'd have the assets to get him. All these guys are on one year deals. Probably none of them want extensions. Let me check actually if any of them want extensions here. So we just made a massive trade. Massive fucking trade right there. And you know what? It does sort of make sense. It gets us lined up in age with some of our young guns. I don't think any of these guys are going to want extensions. They're probably all saying no right now. Uh, actually, Mantha wants an extension. So you know what? I'll hold on to Mantha, but I might get rid of Enberg. And if I hold on to Mantha, maybe I just move up. Maybe we half tank. Like, I'm not going to full on try to tank, but we might tank anyway. Even if I fucking somehow get a Tendi who's only a little bit better. Let's, you know what? Let's hold. Let's. All right. All right, Mantha. What do you want? What do you want in his extension? You want a big ass six year extension. Take it up to your 34. We don't have any huge right wing talent besides Zadina. But that is enough. That is Zadina, though. He doesn't get, you know, I don't know. He doesn't seem to score too much. I could try him. Let's, let's see what we can get Mantha for. Hold on. Let's see what kind of a deal we can get Mantha on. I don't want to go that long. I'm not, I'll cut that in half maybe. Or only go to, I'll probably actually, Padawan's on three-year deal i might go to three-year deal oh no no two years two years yeah 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 just a two years doesn't even go up that much for two years okay okay i know i changed i'm changing what he wants but i gotta capitalize on this right now 8.2 times 8.5 okay it's gonna be about 7 mil which is 
less than nine. <laughs> so let me try seven mil for two years. Okay, we'll try We'll try to get him on an extension like that. Maybe get Venberg out of here. Wenberg, whatever the hell you pronounce it. He's doing all right, but it's there's something that was wrong with this team. And Mantha, we can hold on to. You'll see, though, I don't think we will. All right, so Zadina might be a guy to go, but I don't know. He doesn't seem to produce. I mean, he kind of produces well, don't get me wrong, but will he produce well on that first line is the question. Right now, Mantha's there, so Zadina, as he, although he produces sort of like a playmaker, so maybe what we need there is that Jacobson guy. Maybe if we threw him up here, maybe just ship Wenberg off for a big pick here. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe ship Wenberg off for a big pick here. From a shitty team who just wants to fucking take the guy. Maybe they need some cap. Maybe they need some cap. Maybe they want Wenberg. Let's see. Let's go to that now. We've become sellers here at the deadline. But you know what? My free spending and free agency hasn't seemed to help us out. So let's throw Wenberg here on, on here next. Yeah, let's throw him on there. Look for a shitty team who wants him. If, there, if one exists. San Jose is not great. But you don't know if that pick's going to be worth it. We look for a really bad team. Okay, here's a pretty bad team here. Pretty bad team. I'd have to take a player back. But I can get this pick. Oh, yeah. I don't even know. They'd still have a shit. Uh, they, I mean, it might help improve them. I don't think they make the playoffs, though, with where they're at at this point in the season. They don't want to give up that pick. It makes sense, but I'm getting that pick. Yeah, you have too many skaters. Too bad. Give me someone back, and I'll take someone. Can I get someone back that would actually... They want to give up this Fiala guy. Meh. Nah, I don't really like them. All right, who do they want to give up, actually? Who's on the block here? Uh, Kevin LeBanc. He could spot fill or something. I don't know. No one really here, actually. But let's just take someone back to take someone back, I think. Yeah. Uh, Jalmerson. Really? <laughs> Jalmerson. You know what? They actually might like that because he's got a really ridiculous deal. And I'm going to be shipping off a lot of cap. I'll need to take some back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I could do that. Get that guy in there. They might want to do that. And you know what? They might want that so bad that they're willing to give me a lot of more stuff. A lot more stuff for it. Maybe. So for Venberg, we're going to get a first, take back Jalmerson's contract, and also get a second, a third, and a fourth. Maybe. Let's see. Sweeten the value just a touch. That's actually insane. Remove that fourth. Put in the fifth. Yeah, we could do this. For uh, Wenberg. And I'm just going to bring up Jacobson and put him on the second line. Just because he's got some decent stats for it. I don't know if it'll work. But we're going to fucking try it anyway. We're going for it anyway. Alright. We're going to try this. Not quite value. Just a bit low. Okay, remove the five. This is still well worth it in my opinion. Remove the, Put the six in there now. Yeah, if we can't get a goalie, man, like I'm just gonna try to line up some ages a bit better. All right, that'll work. That's gonna work. Let's do it. Boom. Go to roster moves. Bring up that Fairchild guy. Or actually, no, no. Let's bring up uh, Jacobson first. He's listed as deaf now. Time to bring up. Oh, Fairchild's actually listed as fourth line as his cheese off. So we got some more moves to make then, by the looks of it. Good. All right, we're just gonna get. We're gonna go. This is a half rebuild, basically. <laughs> What's happening right now is sort of a half rebuild. But I might probably get Tanner Pearson out of here then if that's the case because... Or some of these other guys. No, I want House. House still listed only as death. But Turakov, I believe, was listed as, yeah, third line checking. Now, Glass. I almost want to still hold on to Suzuki. Eh, I don't know. Maybe Suzuki gets out of here. If we're going to try to get Jacobson good. Although I don't want to... Yeah, I might not want to do that. So, Eakin, I still want to hold on to because he's really good. I still want to hold on to him. He is, he's on a three-year deal, so, I mean, we, we don't have to move him. Pearson, I almost want to hold on to him because he's scoring, like, goals. And then if we're going to have... We're going to have Zadina. Now, Jacobson, I don't know how he's going to produce, if he will. I mean, he's got a tremendous shot. We don't really have another type playmaker guy. We have to. We could bring up this guy. He's listed as fourth liner now. Yeah, we probably will want to. I'll have to fix that. Holy crap. Oh, uh, yeah. To, all right. Let me just stick someone in here. I don't really care who it is. Stumb one. 
Yeah, uh, loco. It doesn't matter. Just subbing all lines. I'm just trying to fix that. So, yeah, um, Chistoff is also listed as fourth line now. So, that's someone we're going to want to bring up. Yeah, we're going to need to bring up some grit, man. So, him for the fourth line. Uh, NHL, basically, fucking get McLeod out of here then. Yeah. If we're going to do that, let's get McLeod out of here. And uh, we'll keep uh, Turakov, but we'll get McLeod the fuck out. He is not good. Uh, he's he's been he's been supplanted now, so we'll get McLeod out. That'll make room for Turakov, and then we have a left wing to take care of. I uh, I'm kind of torn on Pearson. I almost want to hold on to him for a bit. I almost just want to hold on to him and see how he'd do on that line with these guys. Or maybe it's smart to trade him. Maybe it'd be smarter to trade him. And I'll try to trade up in this draft to get what I want if I need to as well. If something like that would make sense. Okay, um, I'm just thinking here. I still want to hold on to Sedina. I want to give him a chance, especially with how he's producing. I want to put him with Jacobson, see if Jacobson's can score a shit ton. Yeah, all right, let's get, let's, all right, next, next is to get McLeod out of here. We're shaking things up. McLeod's going to go. McLeod's got to go because I want to bring up, uh, what's his name? Oh, where is he at? Oh, he's way down here. What am I thinking? He's way the hell down here. McLeod, where are you? There you are. McLeod, who wants him? A lot of... Oh, a lot of teams want him. That gives us good leverage. I could just ship him off for some. A rebuilder here. Give me a second. That'll be enough value. Yeah, I, I think I can get that. A second for McLeod. I'd be happy with that. Sure. I mean... Yeah. Let me do it. Not quite. Not sufficient. Uh these guys are technically a rebuilder, but they're doing well. They don't want to give up their first, unfortunately. These guys do. I don't think it's enough. No, not even close. It has to be a really good team who wants to give up their first. Really like a out... Okay, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Ah, they don't have one. Son of a bitch. How about you guys? There we go. That's very close. I'd have to chuck in something extra here. And they'd have too many players. So I'd have to take someone back as well. Which I'm not a huge fan of. But I'll do it. Okay. Uh, Zach Smith. <laughs> uh, Felino, no. Too many years. Martin. Yeah, sure. There you go. What do you say to this? Value on the table is too far off. Well, I want that first still. So let's chuck in some of this bull crap here. Nope, not sufficient. All right, I got more of them. I got more to throw your way. I got much more. Let's chuck in two more of them. Not sufficient at all. Oh, just you wait. Just you wait. How about Jesus? Not quite. Valuing the table is too far off. All right, that's unfortunate. I don't think any of these guys will work if none of those worked. So let's look at picks. They want some later picks. Let's throw in a fourth. Boston's fourth into this. There we go. That'll work. So it's going to be McLeod, um, some trash, and a fourth for the first, and taking back a player to make you go through. We're just trying to free up space basically with this. So there we go. And I still want to move up Fairchild, I think, because he's actually listed as fourth line. But this was a move for Chistoff. So Chistoff comes up and now plays center. Or what I could do is send the other guy down. I don't necessarily have to. I could send Howes back down. I could send Howes back down. He is listed as depth. He didn't really grow. Maybe he can dominate there in the AHL and get some growth at the end. I could. That's that's an option. Oh, I have to bring this guy up, huh? Yep, my bad. Didn't bring him up. Didn't bring him up yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right. So we're shaking things up pretty heavily. And we're basically passing the torch right now. The free agency didn't work. I think, yeah, Fair, I still, yeah, I, I do want to bring up Fairchild. Yeah, I really do. He's listed his fourth line. Why not? Now's the time. Let's bring him up and I'll decide later what I want to do with him. Okay. Yeah, I could send down House or just scratch Eakin and move House up. It's options. All of them are options. Put Chistov in. There you go. Now you're on the fourth line where you're listed to be. You're going to fight for us, too. We're going to be a gritty fucking team. Chistov, Turikov. Let's get a Russian. We need another Russian. I don't think Fairchild is Russian. No. <laughs> no, he is American. 
Damn. Okay, Jimmy Fairchild. Yeah, Matt Martin, you're just going to chill. But yeah, Cody Eakin. Do we have any other? Oh, we can move this guy up now. Oh, man, that's going to take... Those lines are going to take a while. Oh, shit, I already fucked it up. Go to roster moves. Uh, that's okay. There we go. Um, Yeah, let's go to edit lines here. See if it'll go bring me back to my NHL. No, it won't. It's not letting me fucking best lines it. Then I'll fix it later. I'll have to fix it later. Oh, okay. Rough stuff right now. But it could shape up and this could help us long term and short term. Now I'm thinking about Pearson. I'm thinking if I want to move him. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I think I might want to hold on to him just to see if we can make some last minute run. I doubt it, but I could just scratch Eakin for a bit. As good as he is. He's so good, though. I don't really want to scratch him. Suzuki we could send back down. He's listed as depth. He hasn't really grown. I think we send him back down. At 23, I mean... He's pushing it. We could actually probably move him and we won't be hurting ourselves too much. Yeah. Probably, actually. Move him, put Eakin back in the center, move House up. I think that's going to happen. I'll keep Glass because he's better defensively. But Suzuki, not panning out. I say send him to the almighty. <laughs> We're shaking things up. And I know it sucks to trade away those young guys, but... They're not quite getting to where I want him to be. Uh, Hamilton guy has a tremendous shot. That's the only reason he's getting that crazy, uh, crazy time. I don't like Suzuki has amazing awareness. Don't get me wrong. He started off great, but I don't think he's getting to where we want him to. All right. So let's send him off somewhere. Let's send him. No bad teams want him. Oh yeah, they do. I think I already got as much as I could off of them though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I can get some from ne next year, but no. Nah. Okay, these guys are kind of borderline, and they have room for them by the looks of it. They don't want to give up picks, though. But I could get a second. Probably two seconds. Let's get two seconds. Let's try. No, woefully insufficient. Probably a second and a third. Maybe a four. Second, third, and a four. We'll try that for Suzuki. Not quite. Let's remove that four. That should go through a second and a third. Oh, no, really? Hmm. Let's remove him then. Okay, these guys have a second. They want to give it up. Maybe a second and a third from Florida. Ah, oh, too many skaters, son of a bitch. All right, from Edmonton. Let's take Washington second and then that third. Too many skaters. I don't want to take back a guy if I can help it. I don't think I'll, I'll be able to, though. I think... Yeah, most everyone. Oh, wait. Ah, they don't have... They don't want him. Screw it. I don't care if they don't want him. I don't care if they don't want him. Give me your second. You want to give up your second. There we go. That 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 should work straight up. That should work. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I might have been able to get a bit more, but... At this point... We're doing it. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, he's already up here. Good. Edit lines time. Edit lines time. We're shaking things up. Shaking and baking. Eek into the center. How's up? Fairchild in. There we go. All right. So, what I like about Fairchild, he's got decent defensive stats. So, that's what I like. Okay. Think I'll hold on to Pearson for now. So, we made some massive trades here and some other smaller ones, but we are busy here at the deadline. Shaking things up. I'll hold on to Yossi for now. Yeah, I'll hold on to Yossi for now. He's going to be a good helper for the other guys. I don't really have anyone else. Uh, we got, yeah, we, got, we picked up Jalmerson. But, I mean, in our AHL, I, is Nima Linen ready, actually? No, still this is minor top two. That, although Doherty is this is my top six, but he's not that good. So he's really not that good. Um, These other guys, we're waiting on more. Yeah. I don't think we have anyone else here that's, uh, nope. All right, so, yeah, defense is fine. I'm going to hold on to Yossi for now. We can trade him next year if we want to. Uh, we're going to see how our defensive core pans out from there. But yeah, uh, <laughs> that was a lot of shake and bake right there. 
And what I'm what the goal was with all those moves here is to try to get more guys lined up in age. It's not a full rebuild, but it's it's def it's a definite extreme retool. And we were are and we might tank at this point, but we might actually also go on a good run. So this is one of those moves where either everyone's gonna hate you for or everyone's gonna love you for. Where there's only one way to find out. I think we're ready to sim again. We I just couldn't get a goalie, and we have we have the we have the goalies coming up. Uh, it's just it's just a matter of time for those elites. It's really just a matter of time. We got Kondratiev working his way up. He's 21 and only at 65. So that's, but we the other the other good part is we have another elite who's actually in the CHL, and that helps us out a lot. It helps us out a lot. And uh, Gravel, hopefully he has a good year. Maybe he can spot start. I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, I think we're going to start simming here. This is the shakeups that we're going to do. I don't want to move up Pearson because we don't really have anything else. I don't want to completely sabotage us. I want to see if we can get better or if we're just trash, then whatever. I at least moved out some expensive shit. I should re-sign Mantha. We're going to advance day by day here, see if we could actually get him back. I'm not too sure. And then Pearson isn't the biggest deal. Wait a sec, though. Yeah, so hold on, hold on. Actually... No, I think he's too old. Yeah, someone mentioned Toffoli, but I think he's just too old. Let's advance a few days, see if Mantha would uh, reject here. Yeah, deadline almost upon us. Okay, Mantha accepted. So we get him back for less money for a few, uh, for a couple more years there. Uh, people gain morale because he's offered an extension. That helps. We lost that game, so yeah, um, probably still going to suck, but whatever. At least we get back Mantha, so he at least scores for us. He's a good goal scorer for the Padawan. We'll see how Dublowitz does also on that line now. So yeah, um... We're going to continue here. I think we're just going to continue. Okay, the deadline here. Do I want to make any more moves? I don't think so. Chicago Wolves are doing outstanding. Our AHL is amazing. Oh, yeah. I should actually fix their lines. Hold on a sec. Yeah, I actually need to double check everything and make sure that they got the right lines moving forward. So let me do that real quick. All right. Taken care of. And uh, we're going to be moving on now. Okay. Past the deadline, past the season, we'll see what happens. I doubt we go on a crazy run. I just think we're going to lose a bunch, but uh, whatever. If we lose a bunch, we lose a bunch. I don't care. That's part of the plan, actually. Um, and now we're going to win. Oh, who knows? Maybe. Maybe we make the playoffs. You never know. Well, I think we're going to fall back down to earth. We'll, we'll win a bunch, but then we'll lose a bunch right after, so it'll cancel itself out. That's kind of been how this team is. Mrazic's not good enough. That's just plain and simple. Mrazic's not good enough. All right, we got one done through there as a defenseman two weeks. Keep scouting. We'll need some good scouting here. So we lost two in a row, but came back with a win. And uh, we're kind of winning a bit. We're actually kind of winning a lot for our team. Lost there. Can't get points out of those. Some of those are tough because we're losing one goal games, not getting points. Yeah, no. All right, so we're definitely not making a run. <laughs> There's a small chance in there, but we at least lined up some ages here. We still have some good picks. Maybe we win the lottery. Yeah, right. There's no chance we're going to win the lottery. I'm not allowed to win the lottery. Not allowed. Yeah, a bunch of losses here. That'll send us right back down. And yeah, we're uh, not... Are we going to be a 40-win team at least? Or no, nope, we're not. Okay, no 40 wins for us. We won that last game, but I don't... We, I'm pretty sure we missed the playoffs. So uh, yeah. I did something crazy. Yep, right. Initial regular season's ended. Scouting assignment. HL regular season will end as well. Yeah, no, we, we didn't we didn't make the playoffs. I know that. Okay, so failed to make the playoffs, but that's fine. I I just went overboard and made a bunch of changes. We at least locked in Mantha. Alright, so here we go. Let's check out our team, how they did throughout the year. It wasn't great. <laughs> I know that for a fact. Just wasn't good. Yeah, no, see, uh, Actually, we're fucking really close. We're all oh, we're one point out of a playoff spot. To be honest, we were one point out of a playoff spot. Wow. Uh, although we would have lost it uh, because of regulation plus overtime, so we were technically two points out of a playoff spot. But way closer than I thought we were. Way closer than I thought we were. So we could take that in stride. All right. So power play was decent. Penalty kill was good. Home record was trash. Yeah, bad end of the season. You know, if we just had a better end of the season, we would have made the playoffs there. He just didn't. But it's whatever. I don't really care. Dublowitz, he got a lot of goals on our team. 
He got 11 goals in that stretch right there. He had 15 goals. He just got 11 goals. That's a good sign. Mantha had a 30-goal season. The Padawan, 65-point season. He's a minus sure, but whatever. So Dublowitz, tough trade, I know, but whatever. Had to happen, in my opinion. Had to happen. Zadina didn't even get a 50-point season. Rip. All right, so how, what I'm interested in, how Jacobson do? 21 games played, 13 points. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Where was what's his name? Pearson. Not even yet. Not a 50 point season. Brandstrom. Hopefully this guy grows a lot, man. Top six, 44 assists. Yeah. I, I, this guy would be so sick in the top six, man. Or sorry, the top four. He's going to be so sick when he gets there. So I just needed to take a step back, I think, this year. It would, we have to take a step back to take two steps forward. And picking up a guy like Dulowitz, he's perfectly almost in age with uh, the Padawan. Only a, a year and a half difference, basically. Mantha's on the older side, but we did lock him in for a lot less money. Zadina is still a big question mark, in my opinion. He's, I could, He could use better guys to play with, I know, but... Jacobson might need a full year at that second line role. I don't know. I, I don't know if he'll grow anymore. I, I might have needed to just throw i might have need to throw him throw him in there earlier but we'll have to see might be able to salvage something with that guy if not we have plenty of other red elites making their way up let's see how those other guys did by the way Chistoff came in uh one assist minus five 20 penalty minutes i bet they're all fights <laughs> yep <laughs> every single one of them was a fight <laughs> all right beautiful uh turikov yeah, he's not great, but did he fight? Are these? Do I have some rage, uh, raging Russians? Yeah, two fights for you. How's fought? <laughs> Jesus, these two way forward red elites love the fight. I love it. I love it. They all fought, man. <laughs> Epic. All right, so we could take that away from things. We got some grit now, and we only we barely missed the playoffs. That's another thing to take. Mrazek, I'm probably just letting you go. Gravel, you're great. Hopefully you get a big jump this year. I don't know if you will, but you played fantastic. If you're just going to be a backup for me, I'll take that play. We're going to need someone to spot fill. Going to need someone to spot fill here. Go to the AHL. There's going to be a lot of... Um, oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Can I switch back and just go back to my team? No, I can't. Fuck. All right, fine. Uh, Chicago Bulls. There we go. All right. So there might still be a bunch of those old guys up here. Yeah, Jacobson's still up there. Uh, Shovel Dave... Hopefully this guy grows a lot. This guy be a good second liner to have, but again, it's just gonna take time. Hopefully he gets a big jump. I don't know. We need we need a lot of growth though. A lot of growth it needs to happen. Malosh has got a lot of good. That's some great growth from him, to be honest. Anyway, those are the point totals. I'm gonna check out the actual progress reports now. So we actually were very close to the playoffs. It was another photo finish, and this time we didn't make it. So I'm not gonna take that to heart. As much as I maybe would have, like, would have if I didn't make the moves I made, like, it just, in my opinion, needed to be done. So, Dublowitz got some nice growth. I wonder if that's only from our, no, because he's drafted the year before last, right? He's actually got negative statistical growth, but good uh, actual growth. That's interesting. Hartnell, natural growth and some minus statistical. That sucks, but uh, whatever. Uh, Jacobson. Yeah, he's, I think that's mostly from the AHL, but I brought him up. I gave him some depth time. Let's hope it helps him. Uh, Cheese stuff. I think this is all mostly from uh, AHL stuff. Except for a Turka we had up here all year. That's all from that. Okay, that's most of the growth right there. Is Dina? Yeah, I don't know. Don't know about that guy. All right, in the system, Bobkov got a lot of growth. That's good. He's up to a 64. Need more. Need a lot more. Friesen's up to a 62. Let's actually get a bit more in depth. Offensive awareness went up. His passing needs to get up there more, but his shot's decent. Good defense is going up. All right. Skating. Okay. Jay Friesen. Beckett climbing up. 70 overall now, but JC Friesen, yeah, minimal growth. Uh, same with you, minimal growth. Shovel Dave, minimal growth, unfortunately. I need, I want to, he might get a nice bump in the offseason, which would be great because he is 20. I want him to get up there soon. Uh, Brunette, two-way forward. I don't know about the two-way forwards. We have to see how they produce. 
At least his senses are decent enough by the looks of it. Del Rio grew quite a bit. That's good. Yeah, I went up from a 51 to a 57 in the juniors. So he might actually be the guy we go to instead of uh, the other guy we have. All right, Tyrone McKinnon. Decent growth. Bulldog. All right. Not really much. He's in the juniors. This Kwong guy is in the juniors. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even sign him, actually, probably. Neil Kynan, uh, this guy not looking like he'll pan out, but we're going to hold on to him anyway. Malosh got some decent growth. He started off at okay overall, though. Hopefully he gets another good off-season uh, off boost here. Oh, he doesn't have good senses. His shot's decent. Yeah, his, his offense awareness is pretty low for a center guy. Yeah. All right, let's just go to goalies here. Yeah, Del Rio got a shit ton of growth. Um, and Kondratiev didn't. So he's 21. This might be the, I don't know. It's looking more and more like we're going to go for Del Rio, but I'll keep holding on to Kondratiev though. I'm not going to trade him yet. I'm going to wait. I'm definitely waiting to trade that if I'm going to trade him. But Del Rio, good growth so far. Good growth so far for Del Rio. So we went super overboard right there, but uh, it's, I think I tried to rush it along too quickly. I think I just made a mistake of trying to rush things along too quickly. And we, we were pay, we started paying for it. We barely made it in the playoffs last year. We got eliminated. We had a champion caliber team, but we were a 500 team. It, I it, it can't do that. So I'm, I've tried to line up the ages more. Hopefully we have good luck with the lottery. And if not, well, I'm fucking probably going to trade up. And I, I have a lot of assets to trade up for. And I'll, if you guys have, you know, want it to be realistic, I could do that as well and trade away a lot. We'll have to see what's available though. We'll have to see what's available. All right. So a lot of moves were made. Let me know what you think about the trades. Uh, I did make them not raging, so I did take a moment to calm down before I made that, and I thought it could be good because chemistry seemed to be the biggest issue. What if we started lining up ages? What if we tried to find guys who would just work well to better together instead of like, you know, some older guys, some younger guys, and it's just, I don't know. It's just, I think we'll we'll start working out a bit more if we get all guys around the same age. Sure, Mantha's going to be like the older guy. Pearson probably not even going to resign. Uh, but everyone else here, you know, 20-year-old, 22, 23, 23. Uh, Mantha's 28, sure. But our depth ain't going to matter too much. But now we got guys 23, 21, 22, 22. We're sort of kind of finding an identity here in that regard. Defensive core as well, 22, 20. Uh, 27 yet, yeah, but 23, 22, you know what I mean? Like we're all, I'm starting to try to line up these age groups. And so we might have to take a step back and retool and have another good draft and try to find a top, top guy, like maybe a right wing scorer, maybe a, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, or maybe a green top six. That would almost be better, like finding a green top six. But because Dina, I don't know. He needs. I need a full year of him with a decent line. I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, let me know about all the moves, guys. And uh, yeah, you guys can uh, chime in about that draft. And this is the last video I have that you guys will be hearing when I'm on vacation. So let the uh, opinions and comments and suggestions fly, and I will be able to get on those in the next episode, which will be a draft. So. Not too much to do, but hopefully you guys don't hate me completely for these deadline moves, but something drastic needed to happen. We still almost made the playoffs, but you know, I think it'll, I think it'll benefit us. I think, I think it would benefit, it will benefit us more than what had happened with uh, the signings we made. I don't, not positive, but it could. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.